Hello, this is Chris and I am back with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be giving my reaction to Coco, official final trailer. Now, this trailer actually came out quite a while back now. This came out on the 6th of November. Um, I am recording this uh, at 11pm on the 19th of November. So this one's gone under the radar for me quite a long time. Um, I've always had it on the back burner. I've been finding time to get a reaction out for it. And uh, I wanted to get on one now. So um, I've actually done a reaction to all of the previous trailers that have come out for Coco. You can find the links to those in the description down below. And actually, for the most part, I've had some really good feedback on those reactions videos so thank you to everyone that's commented um, I'll be replying to everyone's comments either tonight or tomorrow but um, at the end of this reaction video I'm also going to be addressing some of the comments that I've had on some of those previous reaction videos so if you've watched my other ones uh, stay tuned because I might give you a shout out at the end of this video right now so Coco um, I've I've talked about it before in my other ones, but uh, I'll talk about it now. Um, I'm really looking forward to this film. I'm a big fan of Pixar and animation in general. And from what I've been seeing from these previous trailers, it looks absolutely stunning. And from everyone's comments on my other videos, um, it's exactly that. Apparently it's moving, it's culturally accurate. It's just a beautiful movie, which is everything that I wanted it to be. And I'm sure it will be. So this movie has actually already been released in Mexico. I'm just looking on the Wikipedia page and it says that... The movie was released at the Morelia International Film Festival in Morelia, Mexico and was released the weekend before Dia de Muertos, which is the holiday that this movie revolves around. America get it on November the 22nd, I believe. But unfortunately for us in the UK, we don't get this movie until the 19th of January, which is a long way away in comparison to when it was actually, you know, released in Mexico, which is fair enough. I'm fine with Mexico getting the movie first. But it always feels like with these animated films, the people in the UK have to wait a long time for it. So if you see loads of reviews coming up for Coco and you haven't seen one from our channel, it's not because I'm ignoring the film. It's because the film hasn't been released yet. But that is two days before my birthday. So um, maybe I'll go and see Coco for my birthday. I think that'll be a good one to go and see. With all that being said, I mean, this is a long intro, um, I'm going to watch the final trailer now and I'm going to give my thoughts on it afterwards. And as I said, I'll be reading comments, some of your comments out from the previous reaction video that I did for Coco. So I'm going to click play now. Every year, grandkids, cousins, pretty much everyone gets together. Even great grandma Coco. And the winner is... I tell her pretty much everything. I used to run like this, <laughs> but now I run like this, it's just way faster. Life sounds like... Miguel, ah! yeah. eat your food. Here, have some more. No, gracias. <laughs> I mean, see? <laughs> that's what I thought you said. Dia de los muertos. Says if that's what Mexican families are like, like with food, then I, I need to go there. <laughs> I thought it might have been one of those made up things. I was just... But it's... Tonight is about family. I am not like the rest of my family. There's something that makes me different. Great, great grandfather, I want to be a musician just like you. All right, who's in there? I'm sorry. <gasps> Welcome to the land of your ancestors. <laughs> Miguel? We're your family. You're skeletons. You're alive. <laughs> oh, wow. You've got to get home before sunrise or you'll be stuck here <laughs> well, what? forever. Oh. <laughs> Security! Hurry, come on! <laughs> it's showtime! Just look at the color in that. I mean... You, my boy, are meant to be a musician. I must follow my heart. <laughs> I am trying to save your life! <gasps> nice kitty. Miguel, something smattered more than music. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> we may have our differences, but nothing's more important than family. <laughs> I'm proud we're family! Wow. Go away, you <laughs> it's just Dante. Never name a street dog. They'll follow you forever. <laughs> now, go get my shoe. Wow. Um... Yeah, I, I really honestly don't know what else I can say that I haven't said in all my other reaction videos. Um, this film looks gorgeous and it's this is the Pixar that I love the most. I mean, 
I know some people love Cars and, you know, like Cars 2, Cars 3, Finding Dory and Monsters University, whatever it happens to be, but this is the Pixar I like there. Original content, not the sequels or prequels that they do to their pre-existing stuff. I like when, like the Pixar of old, when they used to, like, push the envelope with every movie that they used to make. Um, I think probably the last great Pixar movie that I saw was Inside Out, which I thought was absolutely sublime. Um... To with the sequels i did enjoy toy story 3 as well but um it's mostly the original stuff and i've been waiting for a film like this for a long time from pixar just an animated film in general um now i guess if i'm going to go to some of the comments from last time quite resoundingly and across the board and this might be my way that i pronounced it in my reaction video for that i apologize a lot of people I compared this film from the trailer at least and sort of like the style of it and maybe some like of the story beats and the morals of the story to a film called Kubo and the Two Strings which came out last year and was uh, made by Leica Productions or Leica Studios and it's one of my favourite animated movies in recent memory. Um, absolutely adored that movie and I compared Coco to Kubo and the Two Strings and I think I shortened it and abbreviated it and said Kubo. Um, a lot of people a lot of people in the comments thought I said Cuba or Cuba as in the place, um, as in not Mexico. That is not what I said. A few of the people corrected the people that mentioned that in the comments saying that I was referring to Kubo and the Two Strings. But uh, sorry for that confusion. I didn't want to offend anyone by if you thought that I said Cuba instead of, you know, referring to Mexico. That's not what I meant. Um, a few people, as I said, have corrected that. So again, apologies for that. But um, I didn't say Cuba. Uh, but I'm going to read some of the comments out now. So um, um, there's one from 88 Zook or Zuke. I think it's Zook who says it does have more similarities with Kubo than Book of Life. Um, I think he'll enjoy it all the same. Book of Life was another animated movie from quite a few years ago now, which was set around the holiday of Dia de Muertos and about the character uh, going into that world, like the afterlife um, with the dead. So it was a very similar kind of look to it. Um, I think the Pixar animation is a lot better than the animation was in that film. Not knocking that animation, but this one just looks more richer and looks like it's got more interesting stuff going on with it. Um, and actually, a lot of people have been really friendly in the comments too. People saying that, you know, I need to visit Mexico. Um, there was a comment that I had on my first reaction video that I did where he sent me documentaries. He sent me articles and everything so that I could like, you know, read up about it and research it before I see the movie, which I absolutely will do before going into it. Um, a lot of people have been really friendly and the person here called um, Torito Zone who says that I need to visit these two places in Mexico, which um, I could try and pronounce on here, but I think I'd insult more people than I did with the whole Cuba thing. So um, I'm not going to mention the place names, but um, he says to understand the architect in the film and everything to visit there uh, from a person called it's a beltran the movie is full of mexican culture it's wonderful viva mexico we've had one from chela s who's put i'm from mexico and the movie is very detailed so there are a lot of references to our culture that work very well to us i'm curious about the opinion of other cultures so i'll wait for your review um, as i said you might be waiting a little bit of a while until january but i will absolutely be on a review for this movie when it comes out um, so all of the comments really across the board are all saying that how great this movie is. Simply amazing, great research for Mexican tradition, family orientated story, wonderful, that's from Blanca SM. Um, yeah, there's been a whole load more of comments which um, I'm going to reply to. As I said, I'm going to reply to every person's comment on here. Um, the, the last comment I'll read out is, it's quite a long comment, but, um, it's one I wanted to bring up, um, is from a guy called Mario Vargas, who says, as a Mexican, this movie really made me cry a river as well as all the movie theater, because it really hits the sentimental fiber around Day of the Dead and our beloved Departed Ones. Remember Inside Out Bing Bong scene? Um, that's a spoiler for Inside Out, but uh, if you've seen Inside Out, you know exactly what he's talking about. Well, for us, it was like 10 times that scene with Coco. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, that's going to get the waterworks going with me then. Uh, but also gives a neutral portrait of our tradition of Day of the Death with some artistic freedom. But then he ends with not sure how it will hit on other countries and cultures. Um, so opinions across the board, at least from Mexico, are resoundingly positive. Almost 100% positive from Mexico. So uh, it will be interesting to see how this does overseas. Um, because as I say, it's, it, you know, it's not The Incredibles. It's not a Toy Story. It's not a Monsters, Inc. or a Finding Nemo. 
it's something very different, which um, is what I want from Pixar, but that's just me. Um, I don't speak for everyone. Will everyone else want that? We'll have to wait and see, but um, as I said, I can't, I cannot wait for it. I'm rambling at this point. I'm repeating myself. I can't wait for this movie. They'll, we'll have a review in January when it comes out. And uh, yeah, I look forward to replying to all you guys' comments uh, probably tomorrow at this point when once I've edited all these reaction videos. So that'll do it for my reaction to Coco, official final trailer. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Um, everyone's pretty much already commented anyway, but if there's anything new in this trailer, um, please do drop me a comment. Let's get talking about Pixar animated films in general, or if you just want to keep it to this movie, that's absolutely fine. That'll do it for me for this video, and until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.